President Bola Tinubu signs four executive orders, suspends five excise, five percent excise tax on telecoms. Uh, the General Secretary, Private Telecommunications Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, will be joining us to assess the impact of this development on our first hot topic. Outcry over monthly deductions from police salaries. This reportedly started in June this year at uh, the insurance of the immediate past IGP christened the IGP sports levy. However, the Nigeria Police Force in a statement says it's been in force since time immemorial. We'll be taking a look at this as our second hot topic this morning. What are the headlines that made it to the National Dailies this morning? We'll be taking a look at them on Off the Press with an analyst who will join us to analyze them. Good morning and welcome to the Friday edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen Menon Weziwe. Top trending, Twitter rival threats crosses 10 million users within hours of launch and Twitter is threatened to sue Meta over its new Threads app. Of course, Meta is owned by Mark Zuckerberg. Threads becomes most rapidly downloaded app, raising Twitter's air. And Meta says 30 million people have been signed up to Twitter uh, competitor Threads. Matter of fact, the app went live on Wednesday. It just, you know, on Wednesday on, on Apple and Android apps uh, stores in 100 countries. Its release in Europe has been delayed over data privacy issues. Well, Threads, owned by Mark Zuckerberg, Meta is proving to be Elon Musk's Twitter's biggest challenge. And the pair are known to be bitter rivals and have offered to wrestle it out in a cage fight. Picture these two men in a cage like Hulk Hogan and the ultimate warrior. Wouldn't that be something to see? Well, Twitter has said that it has more than 200 million daily users. So there you have it, threats versus Twitter. And our second top trending, INEC files six count charge against suspended Adamawa Rek. The charges were filed at the High Court in Yola, the state capital. And that's according to INEC's spokesman, Festus Okoye. Well, in a statement on Thursday, Okoye said the electoral body took the action after reviewing the case file from the police, which established a prima facie case against Yunisa Ari. We'll be taking a short break. We'll be back to continue with the show. Stay with us. All right, welcome. In case you just joined us, it's the Friday Flex edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And just before we took that break, uh, we were giving you our second top trending. And I go back to that for, you know, uh, to just establish it for those who are just joining us. Well, INEC has filed six count charges against suspended Adamawa Rek. The charges were filed at the High Court in Yola, the state capital. And that's according to INEC spokesman Festus Okoye. In a statement on Thursday, Okoye said the electoral body took the action after reviewing the case file from the police, which established a prima facie case against Yunisa Ari. The police had arrested Yunisa Ari over his actions during a Damawa state governorship election. Okay, so we'll take a break again and then be back to give you off the press. Do stay with us. I'm sure you want to know what headlines are on the national dailies this morning. We'll bring them to you. <laughs> 